this is the, the evening before we're gonna haul the the billy goats to the sale down at Chickasha. Found out about it through Mike Fowler at Fowler Family Farms. Uh, so he's got a great video on it and uh, how they did and all that kind of stuff. So go check that video out. But uh, these guys are ready to go, I think. So I'm nervous and anxious to see what's going to happen at the same time. Yeah, you got it, got it, got it, got it, got it! Where? <laughs> Lisa spotted a couple of... Yeah, you got it, got it, got it! A couple of goats over here that weren't coming, so they're coming now. Yeah, you got it, got it! These guys are coming. Come on, yeah, got it, got it! We're fixing to load the goats out. It's about four o'clock probably. We've got the trailer lit up. Hopefully it's gonna help them load. This is a new deal for us. I got the world's greatest loader. Oh, look over there. What? Oh yeah. Hey guys. Hey, go to go to go to. That's funny. Can you, can you see that on the camera? I don't know. Probably not. Hello, Zena. You're not going, girl. She'll want to load up, so we gotta. You gonna try to put her over there, hopefully? Yeah, that'd be good if we could get her in there. I couldn't get. Oh. No, wait a minute. Come here. Get ready to shut that gate with me and her. Come here, Zena. Uh, what gate? This gate? Yeah, shut it. Shut her in here. There you go. Now let me over there. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get them going. We need to try to keep the lights pointed that way and where they'll see where they're going. Yeah, come with me. You coming? Oh, okay. Is my light off? No, it's on. I know. It's weak. They follow we it up there. Why don't you go up there and let them follow you? Let them come over that way. Back and forth. Lisa, go up there and sh shut, hold that gate shut, keep them on. Is it too late? been here before, hadn't we? You know, was an easy girl. This right here, we should just move this. Well, yeah. You want to turn it right now? Yeah. I, I don't know. Do you want to just take that one off? Okay. And pull this one just fall No, down? just turn it. Just pull it around, yeah. Which way? Front Your way. Yeah. Come on. Got this 
that'll work. Yep. Them, there's so many. Okay. Got the door? Yep. Gotta hold it. You gotta put some pressure on it. him like a hawk. Those pins and the doors of the trailer. <laughs> I'll make it. These little lights were nice. Yeah. Real nice. I don't know what time it is. Oh, I'll go let her out. She's reminding me. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were hoping we would get off or I would get off by 430. Pretty close. So, and he said, I'm not coming to abolish him, but to fulfill it. So he's gonna keep it. Okay, we're here. It is 6.42. There's already at least two vehicles up here in line. <laughs> Yikes. We'll see how it goes. Well, it's 10.06. We got in. We're number three in line. And I mean, the line is way out to the main highway. And so they're, uh, they got a trailer load up there at the front. And then the fellow in front of me's got two. So we'll go from there. Look at this line. There's already been probably 10 go through. It looks like there's a line all the way out at the highway. Amazing. Amazing. Quite a few though. Uh, very, very pleased with how they did. You know, the guy told me and showed me, you know, they're not great and great. You know, they just, you know, we don't feed them a whole lot, if any, you know, to keep them fat. Uh, this time of year especially. So they got to kind of do it on their own. So this is the time of year when they would normally back up and be a little thinner which is uh which is how they were so i wasn't expecting them to grade very well at all and i already kind of had an estimate from a cell barn that i'd been using and they just far surpassed that estimate here so it's absolutely going to be worth the drive especially if you've got a decent amount so i'm excited about it uh, thanks to mike fowler for bringing it up to me Okay, so I just got back from uh, Chickasha, and what I wanted to do was I wanted to cover a little bit about how the process went. You know, it's, a, it's quite a big risk if you're taking, uh, you know, a, a load over there. And if it's quite a long ways away, it's, it's two hours away from me. It's basically a processor, and they'll take 2,000 goats or sheep, on I think it's the, the first and the third maybe weekend of every month typically and what you can do is you can go to their website at Chickasha Meats Co. Chickasha Meats Company 
and look and and they'll have a, a list of dates and they'll of course say it's subject to change but it'll give you an idea if you're going to do that you want to get there early they don't open until 10 a.m. they won't start letting people in to bring their animals until 10 and then they stop at 2 and so they want to try to get 2,000 in that time if they get 2,000 before 2 they cut it off at least that's what I've been told uh, so I got up early. Uh, Lisa and I loaded our goats out at 4. I, I was on the road by 4.35. And so I, that meant that I was over there by, I got there at actually 6, 6.42. So it took me a little more than two hours. Uh, but I was there, I was number three in line. So I basically just killed time until 10. So then they, they bring you in and they drive you around through the facility where you unload. They unload your animals. They take them to an, a side pen. You need to have them tagged with your scrapies number and your, and your scrapie tag. That'll have your flock number on it. If you don't do that, they're going to charge you so much per head. Just do that before you take them. Anyway, so they take you around. You unload. They put them in a facility right there close and you wait and they go through and grade them right then and that's what I was the most impressed with. These are Spanish goats that we raise. They're not boar goats. Uh, they're not Savannah goats. They're not Kalahari red goats. Uh, they're not myotonic goats. But they may have some myotonic in them at some point. I'll talk about that on another video. So I don't expect them to, to grade like a boar. I know they're going to bring less. It's similar to a longhorn calf in, at a cattle market versus an Angus. Uh, they don't bring the same thing per pound. They're just a different grade. They don't have the same amount of meat. So I knew that. But what was nice is when I got there, I was able to go up and watch the guy grading. And he graded every one of them. He put hands on every one of them. And he told me, he said, hey, the they're still a little thin. Let me show you. And he showed me what to look for. And he said, you touch their spine here and you can run your hand across their spine and where their back straps would be on a deer or a wild pig. That's how I associated it. And you could tell that they weren't going to have very big back straps. So, you know, he just said that that's going to be something that's going to hurt them a little bit. So when he said that, I was just, oh man, I was like, oh no, you know, he's, they're going to kill us. And so he writes up, you know, they weigh them all right there. And then he determines what they're gonna what they're gonna pay, and here's what they paid, exactly 370 a pound. I haven't got the San Angelo sheets yet for this week, but I can tell you what the sale barn was expecting that they would sell for if I would have sold them at the sale barn, and it was between two dollars and 85 cents a pound to three dollars and 25 cents a pound. So by hauling them over there, they brought $3.70 a pound. We were tickled, uh, absolutely tickled. Uh, that's, that's the best that they've ever brought per pound uh, since we started doing it. So we were very pleased with how it worked. But once the guy grades it, he'll give you a sheet. They'll make sure your tags are on. And then he'll give you a sheet, which is the sheet I held up a minute ago. You get your sheet. You get back in your rig and you drive on around the facility to another spot, and but it's part of the building. And you can see there's a couple of office ladies in there and there'll be some other guys, if you're not first, there'll be some other guys there waiting. And when it's your turn, you take your sheet up to the window, they make sure that they have your information, and then they'll cut you a check. And then you're out of there. So the question is, when do you want to do that? And if you live a decent distance away, you know, I would normally say you want to do it when you have enough head, which is what Josh said at Boat Bod Ark. You know, if you got 30, 40 head, you know, you, it's worth doing it for sure. But, you know, the guy in front of me had two head, and he drove two and a half hours to sell them there. I can just tell you, I felt like they were very fair with what I brought them. I just want them to be fair, you know, with what they're worth. And that's what you kind of, sometimes you get at a sale barn, sometimes you don't. It's a risk. And I'm not 100% sure that they'll, they'll be fair all the time on this. You know, I've been the one time. But, you know, Mike went a couple of times. Uh, I think they were very fair with Mike both times. Uh, drop him a comment on his video if you go watch it and see what he feels about it. But I felt they were, they were very fair. Um, I can't remember if Josh said he had brought any over here before. But, 
he's I think he's thinking about it so if he hasn't so we'll, I'll be anxious to find out from him I'm sure he'll make a video on it to, to see if he thinks they were fair and the fact that they brought more money than they ever have per pound uh, I'm excited about that oh one other thing if you do get there early like I did you want to come in from the north that's the way you line up if you come in from the south they'll make you drive all the way back down and get behind people in line in the north and so when you get there if there's several if there's several vehicles coming in you're automatically behind them <laughs> so come in from the north any other questions on how that logistically works fire us a comment fire Mike fire me we'll we'll help you out and see if we can't uh, get you going the right direction if you're wanting to do that but for me unless things blow up that's that's how it's going to be for me from here on out uh, I'm going to be taking them down there even if I just have five or six that's where we're going so Thanks for watching.